Daily Devotional Read, Luke 9 23-26 And he said to all, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeits himself? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words, of him will the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. Top Fam By Jennifer A. Soon Years ago, I was one of the many who followed the unfolding of a love story in Philippine television, L. Dub. I must admit that I have not really been a huge fan of something or someone in my life. When I look back, I can only remember two instances, one is during my high school days, for the boy band, A1, and another is for the love team, Al Dub, Alden Richards and name Yaya Dub Mendoza. The thing here is, when I say I am a huge fan, my standards won't even measure up to the real fans. I would not really spend much to buy the merchandise, won't go to their concerts if they cost a lot, won't really go out of my way, or sacrifice convenience for them. Perhaps by now, you are thinking, what kind of a fan am I? I don't blame you. I know the way I define fandom is so unconventional. I would just borrow a few magazines to read what's going on with the love team, maybe search a few photos, and read some articles online. That's the most that I do. And though I may be an all-up person when it comes to talking to people, building friendships, writing, and teaching, celebrities are just not really my thing. Being a huge fan of something entails some level of sacrifice. But in our passage today, Jesus calls us not to be fans who would just go cheering with the crowd, raising our hands and voices in singing, but rather to be committed followers. It may be easy just to follow everyone else and say we also believe in Jesus. It does not take much to call Jesus Lord. But when we look at what Jesus is saying here, he does not need a multitude going along with him, but he seeks those who really understand what it means to be a follower of Christ. Lip service, calling him Lord, but not really kneeling in our hearts to serve Him as our Master is not good enough. Jesus emphasizes three things that followers are to do to be set apart from those who just render lip service. He tells us that they need to deny Himself, and take up His cross daily and follow Me. Verse 23, In a world that teaches us to love and value ourselves and our lives too much, Jesus calls us to deny ourselves. If we see that knowing Jesus and following Him is far more valuable than all the things the world can offer us, then exchanging our temporary pleasures for something of eternal value will never seem to be a bad deal. We're called to surrender our selfish desires and to use our time, money, and talents for Him. During Jesus' last hours, He carried His own cross to the point of death. And we are called to do the same. We are called to imitate Christ in our daily lives. That's the thing about Christianity, we are being sanctified daily through our circumstances and our own crosses to bear. Lastly, we are called to follow Him. We are to renounce our allegiance to the temporary happiness this world offers and recalibrate ourselves to going in the direction of Christ. Even if it seems to be a high price to pay, our hearts must learn to let go and embrace the fact that there is no other way to eternal life but to follow Christ. Just like what Pastor Kyle Eidelman repeatedly says in the film Not a Fan, we are called not to be fans of Christ but to be completely committed followers. Reflection Without God's grace, all of us will be mere fans of Christianity. We will not understand what salvation means. We will only praise Him and believe in Him when it is convenient or when things are going our way. Yet the Bible says otherwise, Christianity is not a key to prosperity. It is not an assurance of a trial-free life. Christianity entails total surrender to the Lordship of Christ. How are we faring in this area? Are we playing tug-of-war with the Lord, or are we following Him completely? Prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, forgive us, for many times we are mere fans of Christianity, we want salvation, but we don't want the dying to self part. We want to enjoy our earthly pleasures more than we look forward to the heavenly rewards and the rewarder. May you allow us to die to ourselves daily, that we may be sanctified day by day until we meet you again. Amen.